Hey there, today we're going to learn how to add a user to Visudo. Um, we're going to allow hey guy to run the clock command. So, uh, clock is just this. It shows you what time it is. <clears throat> if we're hey guy, then if we try running it, it gives us an error that we can't access the hardware clock. Now we don't have to use clock. We can use whatever command we want to we want to give him. But for this example, we're going to show we're going to allow him to use clock. So uh, try this. Nope, he's not in the sudoers file. So we'll go back to being root. We'll type in by sudo. Scroll down here to. Uh, you see, I already have myself in there. So we're going to have. Hey guy, uh, the three columns here. You have the username or the account name. You have the the host and the, the terminals are allowed to use, and then the commands that they can use. So in here, <coughs> I'm going to go. We're going to say that he can run the the clock command. Um, now you see on this one it says uh, no password for the Rob user. That means when he types sudo, uh, he doesn't have to type a password at all or anything. So let's try it now with, with hey guy. So you save out. We're going to become the hey guy user. When you, uh, when you SU to somebody and you put this dash, it puts them, it puts you in their environment. Which, so it would put you right into their home directory and all their environment variables come over with it. Uh, so here we go. We'll try clock. We'll try sudo clock. Now it's asking for the password. And it works. So let's take that one further. Let's say we trust him a little bit. And we're going to let him run that command without having to put in a password. Here, I'll use the uh, su command without the dash. Right now, we're here. So now we're hey guy, but we're here. We can't look around, so we'll just type cd to get in the right directory here. So now we'll do sudo clock. And now that the password allows us to go ahead and and do it. Um, and that is it. Thanks. There's a lot more to read up on sudo. So if you want to, uh, we just Google, you know, Visudo, add users to, to Visudo. You can add groups to Visudo. Um, you can create aliases. Uh, there's tons you can do. Maybe we'll make another video at some point with that. But uh, right now, this one's done. Go try it out.